Hey everybody, it's Calvin again. Um, I have solved one of the most annoying problems with Excel, and that is the VLOOKUP. In this example, I've put 75,000 lines of data, and what I would want to do is put a make a VLOOKUP function right here and pull in the data on this details tab. So in column A, the uh, this is where the, the information matches, and I just want to pull in any information. So if you were to use this, you would um, copy and paste just the columns that you want to uh, add to your main one using a VLOOKUP. And um, I'll explain how it's working while I click the Combine button here. So normally, if you're doing 75,000 lines against 75,000 lines, this this has taken 20 to 25 minutes by just waiting and then your computer freezes and it says not responding and you have to sit there and you can't do any work and, and your productivity just goes down the drain because you're waiting for this VLOOKUP to finish. Well I have kind of come up with a way to do a VLOOKUP without employing the VLOOKUP function. The problem with the VLOOKUP is that it looks at one line and then it goes down the entire list of 75,000 and finds the lookup and then it goes to the second line and it goes back down through that whole 75,000 lines. By doing that, it takes up all of your resources and you can't get anything done on that computer until it finishes. So what I've done is I have coded in the VBA a strategy um, using much, much faster and more efficient um, internal methods within Excel, and then using some VBA, I have kind of leveraged that. And so in the matter of a couple of minutes, I'm able to combine this data uh, as, if, uh, as if I was using a VLOOKUP in the first place. So you'll notice that it creates a new tab called Combine. All my uh, lookup data has been transferred over into columns 1, 2, and 3. And then all of the detail, whatever matches, will match here. If it didn't exist, it says no match. Um, but it bypasses one other limitation, which is if your lookup key is longer than 255 characters, um, it gives you an error. This will pull back everything that matches, regardless of the length of the string. So very cool solution. I think this will save a lot of time. Thank you.